the definite integral. The definite integral of a function f from a to b is the limit of the Riemann sum as the number of points in the partition approaches infinity. The definite integral is denoted as follows. In other words, if s sub n is the Riemann sum of f over a b, then the integral from a to b of f of x is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of s sub n. The definite integral can be interpreted as the sum of the areas of the regions lying above the x-axis and the negatives of the areas lying below the x-axis. The definite integral involves the integral sign, the integrand, the differential, the lower limit of integration, and the upper limit of integration. Here are some properties of the definite integral. All c's are assumed to be constants. Linearity property. The integral of c1 times f of x plus or minus c2 times g of x equals c1 times the integral of f of x plus or minus c2 times the integral of g of x. Constant function property. The integral from a to b of c is equal to c times b minus a. Integral from a to a. The integral from a to a of f of x is equal to zero. Splitting property. If a is less than or equal to b, which is less than or equal to c, then the integral from a to c of f of x is equal to the integral from a to b of f of x plus the integral from b to c of f of x. Reversing limits property. The integral from a to b of f of x is equal to the negative of the integral from b to a of f of x. Example, given that the integral from 2 to 3 of f of x is equal to negative 5, and the integral from 2 to 3 of g of x is equal to 1, find the integral from 2 to 3 of 2 f of x plus 3 g of x. Solution. The integral from 2 to 3 of 2 f of x plus 3 g of x equals 2 times the integral of f of x plus 3 times the integral of g of x, which equals 2 times negative 5 plus 3 times 1, resulting in an answer of negative 7.